Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial. My name is Attempster. Today I'm going to be going over part 11 in the Project FPS tutorial series. Now in the last part we covered adding shooting animations and we also covered, I think it was adding running or sprinting for our player. So in this tutorial we'll be going over getting a Python script working with the shooting so we can reduce the player's ammo count. So the first thing that I'm going to do is go over here then I'm going to go over to my gun spawn right here and then what I'm going to do is move this up here, minimize this and then in this window we'll go to text editor then over here we'll add ourselves a python controller and we'll want to join up uh, auto fire and single we'll call this shoot here and this and controller here we don't actually need uh, this is basically if we hold down the mouse it plays a shooting animation so what we can do is rename this and then delete it just to make sure it doesn't wipe anything else uh, for example, if you notice, that one was called AND, which was spelt exactly like this, which means if I deleted that, there was a small possibility that this would have been deleted instead. So that is why you rename them before you delete them. So what I'm going to do here is I need a script to put in. So before I do that, though, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to join up my shooting animations. So as you can see, that all the way down the bottom there. Uh, if you didn't see that well enough, just joining this to that one and that one. Alright, and then what we want to do here is we can go to templates, python, and go to game logic simple. And there we go, we have a template set out so we don't always have to write out all of this stuff here. So we'll delete the middle part and then we can start scripting. Now you'll notice it has a def main function so basically what that means is um, well it's just a function and if you want to you can go to module type in the name uh, and then type in dot main and then it will do whatever in the function. We're going to go down here and we will delete game logic simple and just call it shoot. In here we'll select shoot and then what we'll do is minimize that. Over here we're going to import in our properties so I'll do a pound symbol, I'll move my cursor, properties, then in here we want to import in equipped, so I think I spelled that wrong didn't I? Equipped is equal to own equipped. Alright there we go, own equipped. Uh, then next one change is equal to own change I am not doing very well with my spelling make sure those are spelt uh, the same as they are over here otherwise you'll get an error we want to import in m24 ammo that is equal to own m24 ammo and then glock ammo as well is equal to own glock ammo and then what else? Uh, reload we'll need to import in. Reload is equal to own reload. Reload. There we go. You might be asking why we are importing reload and change if we're not reloading or changing the weapon. Basically the reason behind it is just to check whether the player is doing that. Uh, because you don't want the player to be shooting while he's reloading at the same time and you don't want him to be shooting while you're changing weapon either. So that's the reason for that. Then next line here I'm going to type in sensors and in here we'll import in our mouse sensors so what we're, I'm going to do is I'll press enter one more time and I'm actually going to move this down give myself some more space and then Whoops, move this over here, not mouse. Auto fire is equal to C O N T dot sensors and then auto fire. Single is equal to C O N T dot sensors. Single. Next line, we'll be adding in our animations. So in here, what was M24 recoil? M24 recoil. CONT dot actuators m24 recoil oops and a underscore 
then closing quotation mark and a square bracket then glock underscore recoil is equal to cont dot actuators then glock underscore recoil alright and then over here um, we'll start with our if statements so actually mtil4 shooting there we go if and then we'll get started so if auto fire is equal to true uh, so if auto fire and we have to do dot positive because it's a sensor is equal to true and now what else do we want we want uh, m24 ammo to be greater than zero and then we also want equipped to be equal to one to make sure we have weapon one equipped and then we want change oh, change to be equal to true I mean not true false so we want change to be equal to false and reload we want also to be false alright and I think that is everything so then we'll do a colon go to the next line in here cont dot activate activate m24 recoil and so we're activating our animation here then we'll minus one from m24 ammo own and then m24 ammo minus what is equal to one and then what we'll do next line we want to activate the animations of the pin on the gun so if we go over to layer 2 here you can see that there is a pin on the side of the gun and that has a going backwards and forwards animation when we shoot you'll notice the same happens to the uh, top of the pistol as well so we want to play those animations but because they're on a different layer the only way we can do so is through a message so what I'm gonna do here is add a message to both of them and this one over here as well a message and join that up alright then in here I'm gonna choose the message to send so move my cursor own dot send message and then in here we'll do a quotation mark m24 shoot then closing quotation mark closing round bracket then I think that is all of that so what I'm gonna do is select all of this control C to copy go down the line control V to paste in here Glock and then auto fire changes to single um, single M24 ammo changes to Glock ammo equipped over here changes to two and then down here activate uh, Glock recoil and then minus what is equal to one for Glock ammo and then we want to send the message Glock shoot alright so what we can do now is with the pin selected on the M24 we can select this control C to copy control V to paste do the same for the top of the gun here so for the Glock control C control V alright those two sorted what we also have to do is deactivate the animations here so what I might also do down here is type in elif for else if auto fire dot positive is equal to false and we'll do a colon go to the next line and we want to cont dot deactivate uh, m24 recoil alright and then over here as well so elif uh, single this time is equal to false and then cont dot deactivate and then glock underscore recoil so let's uh, separate those out a bit make it look a bit nicer now we'll go along to back to layer one so you can just click there and we'll select our armature here and what we need to do one more thing is go down to the m24 reload and we might turn off continue for that and for the Glock uh, as well as for both of the recoils then what we'll also do is uh, turn up the priority to zero 
or turn down the priority to zero and then on the recoil uh, maybe turn it up to two or something for both alright so that should be that done now we can go ahead and test it so press P he'll reload and he'll start shooting cool no ammo reload again and we're back to the start so we'll try that with our primary weapon and there we go back to the start awesome so there we go that is that finished so now what we can do is go ahead and start adding extra stuff like recoil so I'm gonna select my head here on the player and then what I want to do is over here I'm gonna add myself three message sensors so oh, three message sensors and then what I want to do is uh, recoil underscore one recoil underscore two recoil underscore three and then what I want to do is over here we will go to motion and what we're going to do over here is join them up like so surprise surprise so actually this one goes over there that one goes to that one and that one goes to that one we should name these but uh, I'm a little lazy so I'm just gonna leave them like so now we put the amount of recoil we want so probably quite a small amount so I'm gonna say 0.1 or less uh, maybe we'll do 0 0.08 Alright, so if we go over here uh, and go to local, you can see how these directions will affect it. As you can see, it is on local currently. So what we want to do is we want the x-axis to turn, so he sort of shoots upwards as he shoots, or the camera moves upwards. So x is always going to have to be positive. So for this one, I might do 0.05. This one, I might do 0.1 this one I might do 0.12 then what I'm going to do is a Y is going to be rotating side to side so for Z we don't want any because that means he'll be sort of spinning round uh, well the player's vision will be spinning round which won't be good so get rid of any Z values uh, Y we can give ourselves a little bit in any direction so I might do 0.06 or something here then over here I might do negative 0.04 and in this one just to balance it out I might do actually no negative 0.02 so we'll minimize all of those and then what we can do is go back over to our shooting script here and what we want to do is also generate a random value to uh, well give ourselves some recoil of course so up the top here I'm going to type in import uh, random then I'm going to go down here and press enter a couple times and actually we'll go to this line over here and we'll do uh, recoil so in here I'm going to type in if auto fire dot positive is equal to true or single dot positive is equal to true then we want to choose random random dot ran and then int for integer and then in here we will do a round bracket and then uh, I'm gonna do one comma three then a closing round bracket this means it will choose a random integer when auto fire is positive or single fire is positive and it will choose between 1 and 3 so then we're gonna go down a couple lines and in here we're gonna type in uh, we need to check what this value is I'm going to assign a variable to it uh, just called recoil and then that's equal to random dot rand int and then in here if recoil which is this right here is equal to 1 then we'll do a colon and own dot send message recoil 
one and that needs to be in quotation marks um, and it needs to be exactly the same as this one here so we can just press control C to copy and then in here control V to paste there we go it was the same uh, copy and paste that so down there uh, 2 and 2 and then alright there and there so this doesn't look like it's working properly so what I'm gonna do is over here go to toggle system console and that will bring up any errors if we have any which we do so attribute error module object has no attribute ran int and that is true it's not called ran int it's called rand int uh, with a D which I forgot so let's go ahead and try this again and you'll notice the background goes down that line at the bottom syncs as we are clicking which is good the problem is if we keep clicking uh, it moves up as well and so in here uh, we're sort of repeating ourselves I guess because uh, we have to put all of this stuff in so we might just copy and paste that um, stick that in there if that's equal to false there we go I'm gonna type in or and then copy and paste in the Glock as well or that there we go and then this will play for both again instead of doing an or you could do another one down here and have separate recoil for the Glock if you wanted to alright so let's give it a try Oh, doesn't look like it's working too well. So what we might do is, uh, again, go to our system console, and it looks like we have an error. Invalid syntax. I think that's over here, the or, and then the if. So let's get rid of that. Or, yep, that looks fine. We also have double colons, so we'll try that again. It looks like it's working slightly it's not working when we're clicking and we're reloading which is good uh, let's give it a try with this weapon yep and that looks like it's doing something so again the uh, recoil is very slight so if you want to you can amp it up a little bit so again over in the motion here I'm just gonna say increasing how much uh, this goes upwards so instead of 0.05 maybe 0.1, this one here maybe 0.18 and this one here maybe 0.24 alright so I'm a little bit more happy with that so I think that will be it for this tutorial hope you enjoyed it if you did be sure to leave a like comment or share all of that stuff is greatly appreciated hopefully your games are coming along well if you do have any issues there should be a finish dot blend down in the description below if you want to go ahead and see what you did wrong next tutorial we'll be going over adding muzzle flare and smoke and cartridges and all of that good stuff. So again, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks for the awesome support. Have an awesome week, and I'll see you guys in the next video.